Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. I know I said I was going to head back to the Citadel, but you know what? I think I'm going to knock out this uh, crash Turian ship and the follow-up to it as well. Give Javik a chance to uh, fight a Reaper or two. Lucky Rex doesn't look out a window and say, huh, why are we on Tachanka? This crash site's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Primarch's son. <laughs> Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, ma'am, but the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie? Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feared. on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? It doesn't matter. Our mission is clear. Silas, enemies ahead. Quick, we don't want them to call for backup. Husks can't call for backup. They're husks. Explosion. Or dragged out and eaten by husks. <clears throat> okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in top. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. <clears throat>
best sight. There's another pod ahead. They'll live to fight another battle. Keep moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Victor's blood. War was a way of life for my people as well. If you couldn't fight the Reapers, you were left behind. I probably don't have the ammo to kill this like job. Follow my lead. Downsides about traveling with weight limit. Ammo. This way. And this gun really sucks. Do you read, Commander? Repeat, do you read? Shepard here, what's your status? Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Find him, we'll ask. Shepard here. Understood. Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. To hold the Krogan back since Umbrella. All available to position provided against the Reapers. Krogan terrain animosity is ancient and intense. It's in more. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things.
it does seem pretty foolish to fly a ship that big, this low. I think I need to put a point or two in fitness. Avoid that happening. <laughs> Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant. What's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. 
We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Making hard decisions and dealing with the consequences. That's what being a leader is about. You're right, Commander. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? Sacrifice is what we sign on for. They know that. And so should you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? What's wrong with you? Inspire them, threaten them. Lieutenant, if Cerberus succeeds, the Reapers divide and conquer us. And then that is on them. Listen up. This isn't about your fears and grievances. Fears? We're only afraid of the next messed up order you give. Irrelevant. Court martial death and dishonor awaits anyone who walks at his duty. We are Turian. We finish what we came here to do, or we die trying. Shuttles arrive any minute, so get your asses in gear. Let's move! Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, I've given you a second chance. Don't screw this up. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. They got a few Garrus Turians in that crew, you know? When you hear there's a bad order, you follow it. So they're bad Turians like Garrus. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Probably not, if we're honest. If I had to choose between our alliance and lying to save my people, I'd choose Earth every time. Even if it cost you the Turian fleet? I see your point. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You infected them with the disease easy enough. Is the cure that different? 
No. Keeping modalities similar when possible. Easiest way to develop cure rapidly. Groundwater? No. Too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait! Yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. If you're gonna infect an entire population, that's the way to do it. Unless you're part of the population. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector, then use Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. We are going to pretend like we didn't hear that conversation just yet, and Morden needs a few more days to work on the cure. We do have to do our uh, our rounds since that was a major mission and not a you know one of those crummy side missions. I believe Javik and Garrus are in the lounge. Let me see. No, we are in Garrus. Let's talk to Anderson here. Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers, and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'll be getting my Sith Lord Shepard fixed this time around. About the halfway point of the game. Right now it really doesn't look that bad. It just looks like she, you know, hasn't slept in about a week. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close? I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over... Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah, sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details, but let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Nothing motivates a soldier like losing their home. Trying to take it back makes an even better one. You take care, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. You know, when you think about the communication in Mass Effect, we've only had the uh, quantum entanglement for, you know, maybe two years, so we're pretty damn lucky, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to communicate with anyone on Earth. Back another colony? We're losing a lot. Don't hear about the Reaper 
Reapers losing much. Well, Reapers don't have calls. Not even Cerberus. If they did, you'd drop an asteroid on them. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. And that is the worst mission in the game. Ugh. I dread just thinking about it. Bedding. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound. They're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. <sighs> so that went well. Glad to see that Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission at the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not once. That second one was your fault, my friend. Not wanting to leave. Remember that. I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have is low. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Very well. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I don't mind, but I like the comment that Donald makes when he asks this question. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. 
Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Why are you so interested in my people, Asari? Protheans were always an enigma. A mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here... I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian... All were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. All oh, those two. You should not have let the Turian soldier evade his responsibility. I take it Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried him in sand up to his neck, and let the wildlife feast on his eyes. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. The Turians are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. We gathered that much. Doctor, I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rates. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh, better to die to a thresher ma with shotgun blasting roaring raw than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiaga in her veins. Optophytes and Sturians can't, with diplomats instead of a crant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan queen. For... She is the Krogan Queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan Queen. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan Queen. <laughs> Still prefer patter songs? Of course. I really had to twist your arm. You know, if Morton survived the war instead of going to the beach to uh, run tests on seashells, get himself a variety show. Oh yeah, Garrus is in the, uh, the lounge. Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean Doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. <laughs> yeah, so just this and that, huh? 
Victorians on a secret mission to Tichanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. Hello, Shepard. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tichanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. Could be. If I were so inclined. Not right now. One more thing. So, Archangel. You heard about that, huh? Your sojourn on Omega generated quite a few articles, not to mention security footage. There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, of course not. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. Ah, the three for one. Had a few of those in the CS days. Three for one AWP shot. I don't think James has anything worthwhile to say, but we'll see. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. He is that damn good. Okay, so when we get back, we will head back down to the surface of Tichanka and once again be fighting Cerberus.